I started Arwindo about uh, four years ago. Uh, I've been a collector as long as I can remember. I was born and raised in New York, so I kind of follow the whole breakdance, you know, graffiti movement back in the 80s. And, uh, you know, life happens, went to school, and then I started seeing some of these cats that were, you know, bombing trains kind of in, in galleries and museums. I was kind of blown away by that. So I started, you know, kind of looking up to see what people like Those Green were doing, and um, I see that they were showing in different uh, galleries like Jonathan Levine. So I started doing some research, started looking at uh, what's going on as far as the art movement, and I started seeing that there was this really big explosion of street art happening in California about 15 years ago. So started looking at who were the players, who were doing things, and, you know, just kind of sparked the whole, you know, chain of, I guess, collecting art again. And I didn't go to California, but I would go to New York a lot. So um, I decided, well, you know, let me put up the collection and see if, you know, people are, people are interested here in the D.C. Right. Uh, scene. And it was crazy. We had, like, uh, 1,200 people show up for our first opening. So that was really kind of, for me, the, the main kind of, like, inspiring thing that there were a lot of people like me and there are a lot of people who kind of need this. Give all the respect to all the people following us because the supporters are really what made our one what it is now. It's just people just kind of saying, this is great, keep doing it, you know, waiting for the next open. I like the yellow one, but that's just me because I'm... Dude, this one's a lot more like... Get out of my way. Yeah. But that one is, uh, I, look, I just like to look at that one. Uh, we work now with over 1,200 artists uh, worldwide, and it's it's really uh, an amazing thing as far as technology goes. Like, for instance, I got a call from Pixel Pancho from Italy, and it rang on my iPhone through the whole Skype thing. And it was just, hey, how's it going? You know, and yeah. to be able to network with somebody in Italy yeah. and for free was like, for me, it was like, it's nuts. So I, you know, I'm connected to the Skype through the international crowd that way and also through uh, MySpace and Facebook has been really crazy. One of the best things for me is to meet so many great artists. Like, uh, these, these guys are really um, talented and amazing, but they're also really good people. And that's one of the things that I try to do with my gallery. Not try to do, that's like the number one mission is surround myself with positive people who support the gallery because that really, for me, is the number one thing. I can't stand negativity because that really just puts a, a, a bomb into everything. So yeah. I've met so many great artists. They're really good down-to-earth people, and, and that's really been rewarding. So that's just one thing, but then there's other great things like, you know, um, being part of this whole uh, boom in D.C. Um, I mean, in the last three years, it's been amazing to see D.C. really blow up in the art scene. So yeah. to be part of that mix, I, I think, is uh, also very, very exciting.